headed for a blowout. We'll be right back. And now we have a moment to reveal our State Farm assist of the game. <laughs> yeah, just shredding the defense with that feed. Zero chance to stop that. Well, that's what a great pass will do, right? You love the unselfish play. Well, there may not be a lot of drama down the stretch as we head into the fourth quarter, but stranger things have happened. On the court for the Thunder, we've got Mike Muscala. Darius Baisley is out there with Lou Dort. Then it's Kenrich Williams, and it's Giddy in at the two. Stolen by Valanciunas. Now the Pelicans in transition. And there's Williamson on the assist by Valanciunas. Williamson's got ten points in just the second half. Williams passes to Mescala. Pass to Dort. From ten feet away. Zion Williamson grabs the miss. Williamson's got his eighth rebound here tonight. Here's Miracle Man. Williams defending. Here's Miracle Man. Graham with it. Clock at six. Williamson inside. Baisley on him. And as it goes out of bounds, New Orleans will keep possession. Things ball. We're just over a minute into this final quarter of play. And the shot clock expires. 24-second violation. How about that strong defensive performance for this half's mobile one block? Yeah, just some terrific effort there. And you know the whole team will get an energy boost off a block like that one. Muscala to pass to Williams. That shot is off. Nice D from Nance. Boy, this offense has been dynamic and diversified. Just everyone sharing the ball and sharing the load makes it difficult to defend. The defense getting out-hustled on the putback. Can't let that happen. You have got to put a body on somebody. We talk about it ad nauseum, but you've got to be disciplined with the box outs. Pass to Giddy. The three is up. It's hauled in by Zion Williamson. Williamson's got double-digit rebounds now in the game. Here's Miracle Man. Oh, a rip-rattling two-handed jam! Unselfishness can be infectious. Terrific teamwork. The Thunder have got none of their shots to go in this final quarter. 0 for 4. Time called here. The Thunder decide to talk it over. And Grant, you played for a Suns team that was influential with their training staff's approach. How has sports medicine changed from the early days? You know, B.A., it has changed immensely. Nowadays, every team incorporates that foundation that that Suns medical staff had back in the day. It's all about prevention. It's about recovery. It's the big picture approach to making sure players can not only get through season after season, but have longevity throughout their careers. Tipped away. Wiggins outside. Pass to man. To the paint. Robinson Earl. He's defended by Hayes. Here's man. Looking to end the drought. Thunder. Five. Death with That's his third personal foul. The Pelicans have got three of six shots to go in this fourth quarter. A little over two and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth. Pass to Williamson. Down low. Here's Miracle Man. That one's in. Coming off a nice dish from Williamson. Williamson's got six assists now in the game. Oklahoma City has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the fourth quarter. Here's Baisley. Just about three minutes through the fourth and final quarter here. Right wing. Wiggins outside. Here's Mann. Again, no good by Oklahoma City. Here's New Orleans now. Good momentum. Eight straight points. Pass to Williamson. Here's Miracle Man. Here's Murphy. Hounded by Wiggins. Now here's Grant. New Orleans needs to hurry. Late clock. 
No good with the triple. Well, it hasn't been the most efficient game for this guy, but their team is fortunate to still be out in front. Here's Jerome. Drops in the layup for two. Jerome. Jerome's gotten his first basket of the night. Well, the defense wants to keep the ball out of that area. Why? Because if it gets in there, most players are going to finish. And a fast break now for the Thunder. It's good. And he drew contact on the shot, so he will go. Go to the line. A three-point play opportunity. The Pelicans making a switch here. And let's quickly check out the scoring breakdown here for New Orleans. They keep piling on the assist, guys. They haven't cooled off any in that regard. Now, the other thing they've done tonight is work the ball Three. into the paint. Plenty of their points coming from close range. And the top pick in this year's draft, Kay Cunningham. Grant, I heard some insiders compare you to him. You like those comparisons? Well, he's 6'8 with skill, sees the floor, I think approaches the game the right way. Maybe not the leaper I was, but tremendously talented, and I'm so eager to see how he develops. He's got a bright future in front of him. If Derek Favors gets deep post position, it's over. He's going to leave, no doubt, on the flush. Valanciunas passes to Ingram. Here's Miracle Man. Shot clock at six. To the middle. Hey, shot's good. And he's just crushing them with plays like that. I mean, just continuing to pile it on. You want to make sure your opponent knows they have absolutely zero chance of a comeback. And nice finish by him. It's a one-on-one -on -one situation. Here's Miracle Man. Ingram finds McCullum. Here's Miracle Man. Three-pointer. Shot's good by McCullum. And just not letting up at all. I mean, you have to love this approach. You want to get the ball to the guys who make plays. One thing we've learned in the NBA, the game is never over. So you've got to continue to score, continue to build your lead. Here's Valanciunas. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Valanciunas has got nine points now in the second half. Boy, this has been a bit of a showcase for Jonas Valanciunas over and over, finding a way to get it done on the offensive end. Outside, Gilgis Alexander. Favors the pass to Gilgis Alexander over Valanciunas. The Thunder with another miss. Here's New Orleans now. They're on a 15-6 run. Pass to McCullum. Here's Miracle Man. Inside. Valanchunas down low. Gilgis Alexander defending. Valanchunas, good. And I like the physicality on that play by Jonas Valanchunas. Simply powers through the contact, showing he can give it as well as take it. And that one's good. Gilgis Alexander. Rising to the challenge. He's given them everything he's got. New Orleans has gone one for two from deep in this fourth quarter. Pass to Miracle Man. Now Ingram. To the inside. Out to McCullum. Hayes with it. Here's Miracle Man. Gilgis Alexander defending. Another possession. Another assist. That makes 15 assists. He has been one step ahead of the defense all game long. Offensively, it's been a struggle for him. Yeah, they need to string together some shots to have any kind of chance. Here's Giddy. It's stolen away. Oh, and a fast break for the Pelicans. Here's McCollum. The shot off that time. Good work defensively by Gilgis Alexander. Launches it. The Pelicans pull it in. Next matchup, they'll be home against the Nets. It'll be the second of three straight games on their home floor. Pass to Miracle Man. To the middle. Deflected! Now Gilgis Alexander. This one for three. He can't hit that time. 
and he's having an ugly quarter from the field and seems really frustrated. Unloads from 13, and he buries that one. Back rim and in. Look at how smooth Ingram's shot is. Hot off the pass, he puts up a silky jumper. Pass to Giddy, and here's Gilgis Alexander. Here's Baisley. Back to Gilgis Alexander. Driving inside, and slam dunked by Gilgis Alexander. This guy is showing off his entire offensive package right now. Shake Gilgis Alexander in full effect. Outside Ingram. Pass to Miracle Man. Inside. Outside Ingram. Releases. Only missed the J after tricking the D with a nifty pass fake. Here's Gilgis Alexander. And slam dunk by Gilgis Alexander. Well, he is so efficient, so productive. But for them to have real success, he needs help. Ingram with the ball. McCullum outside. Pass to Valentunas. And here's Ingram from the arc. And the Pelicans hit again from deep. <laughs> I just love the ball movement. Here's Gilgis Alexander. With efforts to grow the game in Europe and Asia and Africa, really everywhere from the NBA. Grant, how do you see the future of this game? Well, I think it lies in the young international stars. I mean, you see guys like Luka and Nikola Jokic from Europe and Joel Embiid from Africa. I think we'll see more and more of that as the league and the popularity of basketball grows overseas. I mean, those guys will have the drive and the examples to succeed overseas. New Orleans has gotten three threes to fall out of four attempts here in the fourth. Pass to Miracle Man. McCullum outside. Here's Miracle Man. That's good. And it's McCullum with the assist. And he's got 28 now. And trying to put the game away, he's been nails all evening. And he hasn't forced much tonight. I love the efficiency he's giving to them. And even losing big, you have to maintain composure takes this one by a large margin. Boy, they were something special to watch tonight. And the crowd loving every second of it. It's always a great feeling when you play this well for your fans. This team really showed what it's capable of. And that'll do it, folks. For Allie LaForce, Grant Hill, and Doris Burke, I'm Brian Anderson saying thanks for tuning in. We'll see you later. job on the offensive end tonight. Was there anything you saw from defense earlier in this one that you knew you could take advantage of? Well, they played true to the scouting report, so I've got to thank the scouts and the coaching staff for getting us prepared for this one. Well, can you go into some specifics about what you were able to take advantage of? <laughs> you guys have the tape. Come on, MP. Can you give us something? OK, OK, well. We'll play those guys again, so I'm not trying to give away our secrets, but we're a prepared group. We watch the film, we talk, and we have different ideas for how to approach each game. So you saw a lot of that out there tonight.